My name is V. Whether you like it or not, back to school season is here. And if you have to go back to school, perfect, because I have 20 hacks for you that you can use during the coming up school year. And if you're one of the lucky ones like me who doesn't have to go back to school, that's okay because you can use some of these hacks at work or just in your normal day life. So let's get hacking. So when I have homework or I have to work on a big project over the weekend, I tend to catch myself falling asleep or really want to take a nap during the middle of the day. So the hack is to drink a caffeinated beverage right before you take a nap because it takes about 15 minutes for the caffeine to kick in and then your body will slowly want to get up and you will feel rejuvenated and refreshed. During class, you can record the lecture that your teacher is given or you can record yourself taking notes and listen back to it at twice the speed. Or you can record yourself taking notes and listen back to it at twice the speed. Hooray! Okay, so have you guys ever had like a really hard time focusing while studying or doing homework or doing any big projects? Because I know I do because I usually start daydreaming, go on my phone, and then like the whole entire day is over. <laughs> So if you're like me, you should try studying or working in a different place, a different location around your house or coffee shop. Just try somewhere new and different because if you do that, it's supposed to increase the information retention that you're learning and what you're doing. So you're studying better anyways. Okay, so I actually do not work or study in my closet. It just has really good lighting in here. That's why I need to film in here. But if studying in a closet works for you, then just do it. Hooray! A good way to stay motivated in school is develop a reward system for yourself, of course. <laughs> An example that would work for me is if I read 20 pages of the required reading as homework, I would get two chocolate chip cookies. And I've been rewarding myself a little too much because these are empty. Empty! Hooray! So while you're in school, I'm pretty sure a ton of your classmates will be carrying around these portable chargers around. And one of the things that I hate most is that someone accidentally taking mine when they're fully charged. So what I like to do is mark my territory, put washi tape all over my electronics, and claim it mine. So keep off. Hooray! Hey V, I'm gonna borrow this book, okay? Hold on, hold on. Let me take a picture of you for evidence so I can get this book back. Hooray! So if you're struggling with a course in school, make sure to check out YouTube because there's a lot of channels out there that make great educational content like Crash Course, Minute Physics, and TEDx. Hooray! I'm gonna show you a shortcut on how to multiply any number by the number 11. Like for an example, 43. 43 times 11 equals, first, just put a 4 here, and a 3 here. Ignore the number 11 completely. All you have to do is add 4 plus 3 equals 7. And that is your answer. 43 times 11 is 473. So some studies have found that when you are bored or tired, chewing something will actually release insulin and that will help wake you up. So, you know, chew on some ice, some chewing gum, or in my case, probably a pen. Hooray! So during class while taking notes, try treating it like it's a cheat sheet that you can bring for your test so you can take notes more efficiently. As an example, instead of writing out the whole entire line, George Washington was born on February 22nd, 1732. Try shorten it up to G Wash DOB 222, 1732. Hooray! Okay, so if you have a wrinkled shirt and you hate ironing or you just don't have an iron at all because you're at college and you're a poor student, all you have to do is get your wrinkled shirt and an ice cube, throw it in the dryer for five minutes, and then you will have a straightened shirt. if you work and study best during the morning or in the evening or later in the afternoon once you find out that sweet time slot that you study best in just do that every single day because you become more efficient that way Hooray! 
Now I'm going to show you how to multiply any number by 12. 31 as an example. You take the last number, which is 1, multiply that by 2, which equals 2. And you do the same thing to the next number, which is 3, multiply that by 2, but then you have to add the previous number, which is 1 right here. So that would be 3 times 2 equals 6 plus 1 equals 7. And then you just carry the 3 down. So your answer is 372. Hooray! Hey Chad, I need you to do me a favor. I have to write this essay and I have to get it done in four hours. And if I don't get that done, you come over to my room and kick my butt, all right? I will do that for you. Thank you. Hooray! While in school, most likely you're gonna have to write a ton of essays or reports and a lot of people, including myself, usually just go to Google and search for the things that I need to write about. I usually end up on Wikipedia, which is not the best website to research American Civil War on. So instead, I go to scholar.google.com and search for the American Civil War or topics that I need to write essays about. You will actually get real literature, like real books, that shows up in the results, and you can actually click on any of those titles and read the actual book. You can cite and reference this in your report because they're actually all valid. Hooray! So this hack you can use for school or for work. What you have to do is get a juice box or a beverage of your choice, freeze it overnight, and the next day put it in your lunch box or bag and it will act as an ice pack. I'll show you exactly how to do it. Juice box in the freezer. I have to take a math test on the day of the test I usually try to show up about 10 minutes earlier and just jot down as many math formulas as I can because then it's fresh in my brain and I can use it and recall it for the test a little bit later Hooray! okay Chad so I heard that if I teach somebody something I will retain it 90% more so I'm gonna teach you how to multiply 43 times 11 mm. all right exciting <laughs> All right, so pay close attention. Okay. So 43 times 11, you, can, you can use this with any 11. 473. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you figure it out? I don't know, show me. <laughs> okay, so you just ignore the number 11. Okay. So you just put the four down and the yep. three down, okay. and you add four plus three and seven. What? Yeah, that's all you have to do. Whoa. So you can do that with any numbers. Times 11. Correct. Hmm. Yes. That's cool. Yep. Hooray! So I'm going to show you a super, super easy way to create a pencil holder like I did here with my planner. It's clear tape that I can just put my pen on it. First, cut out about two inches of tape. Next, cut out about five inches of tape and make sure to cut the tape, the sticky side up so it's a little easier. Now I'm going to tape the 2 inch tape to the 5 inch tape, sticky side to sticky side. I feel like I'm saying tape a lot. Tape, 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 tape. So the best page to tape your tapes on is the first page of your notebook or journal because it's usually the thickest. So before you start taping the tape on the first page of the book, you want to align your pen to the journal or the notebook because you don't want it to be like super low or super high. You just kind of want it to lay rest right in the middle, just like that. So go do this to like all your notebooks and journals so you never lose a pen again. Hooray! This last hack is more of an advice, a life advice actually. You've heard it before, you probably heard it from your parents, your teachers, your doctors, is to get enough sleep. So in one study, researchers found that when people sleep only 6 hours a night for 14 days, their cognitive function is similar to a person that has a 0.1% blood alcohol level. That's legally drunk. I hope you find the 20 back to school hacks helpful and if you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel for more fashion, beauty, and DIY videos in the future. And I will see you soon. Bye!